The Grand Tetons of western Wyoming and eastern Idaho are formed by deformation of the North American plate. This mountain range, like many others in Utah and Nevada, is especially interesting because it is forming a thousand or more miles away from the plate boundary located along the west coast of North America. The reason these mountains are here is because large regions of the western United States are under extension. In other words, the western North American plate is being pulled apart. The mountain ranges like the Tetons are popping up as a consequence. As plates on the Earth's surface shift, huge chunks of rock are displaced. When these plates collide head-on, get pulled apart, or slide against one another, mountains are formed. This process is called uplift. In some ways, mountain formation can be thought of as a constant struggle between uplift and erosion, the process by which the towering mountains are eventually worn down and smoothed out. Over a long enough time, even the mighty Himalayas will be worn flat by elements like water and glacial ice. That's why the Tetons are such a dramatic range to behold. The Tetons started to form sometime between about 5 and 20 million years ago. The rugged peaks of the Tetons are still quite young, especially compared to many other nearby ranges, some of which were formed over 50 million years ago. This relatively recent uplift Hard rocks at the core of the range and the sculpting work of glaciers all contribute to the steep, severe, and awe-inspiring peaks and deep U-shaped valleys that give the Grand Teton Range its unique shape.